Welcome to the forefront of mechanical waste recycling in Japan. We are proud to showcase the long-standing partnership between the Japanese plant manufacturer Mika and the German pelleting specialist Salmatech. Based in Fukuyama, Mika is a leading force in innovative waste management solutions, offering turnkey plants for the treatment of various waste materials. With a commitment to sustainable progress, they have actively shaped today's landscape of waste management in Japan. Since the mid-1990s, Salmatech has been delivering cutting-edge pellet mills to Mike. Over 150 of these pellet mills have been installed across Japan. Instead of ending up in landfills, these materials are shredded, dosed, and finally compressed into RPF pellets. The result? A sustainable energy source that is powering Japan towards a cleaner, more efficient future. The journey from waste to energy starts with the material collection. This can be industrial waste as well as household waste, usually including plastics, textiles, paper, and wood. Once arrived at the plant, metals and minerals are separated before the material is shredded. Subsequently, a dosing system feeds the flakes into the pellet mill where they are compressed. The produced pellets are then conveyed into a cooler. After that, the fine material is separated from the pellets. This densification process creates RPF pellets that replace fossil fuels such as coal and gas. One of these production plants is Ecoplan in the Shiga Prefecture, in operation since 2007. In our pellet plant, the initial stage involves separating any metal parts from the waste material. Subsequently, the input material undergoes a shredding process, facilitated by a precision dosing machine. This ensures a controlled and consistent feed into the pellet mills. We produce our pellets with two ring die pellet mills and achieve a production of 50 tons per day on 20 days per month, resulting in a monthly production of 1,000 tons. The materials used are mainly soft paper and soft plastics, such as PE and PET. This guarantees a consistent and solid pellet production. Very good machines. Thank you. In the neighboring prefecture Fukui, the company Takafu Kankyo operates another RPF production plant. My name is Sawa. I work at Takafu Kankyo as the factory manager. Our company has been producing RPF fuel pellets for 30 years. We primarily use paper and plastics, such as PP, PS, and PE as input materials. Our monthly production is roughly 200 tons, so 2,400 tons annually. The produced pellets are mainly used as fuel in the paper industry and for the heating of regional onsen baths. Japan's latest and most modern RPF pellets production is located in Shizuoka. I am currently standing in front of the Kankyo no Mikata plant, a facility that turns waste plastics, paper and textiles, as well as traces of wood, into fuel pellets. It can produce about 6 tons per hour, making it a significant player in eco-friendly waste management. It will later be expanded from 3 to 4 pellet mills. From a technical standpoint, the plant was finished in mid-2023 already and is set to start operating in March to April 2024. The solid fuel pellets produced will be used in boilers for power generation. And the final example is Kira Kayatsu in the Aichi Prefecture. My name is Hiroyuki Katsuta. I am the CEO of Kira Katsu. We operate three pellet mills. Our material primarily contains waste plastics and additionally paper, textiles, and wood. Our RPF production capacity is approximately six tons per hour. The finished pellets are sold as solid fuels to the paper industry and the cement industry. Our laboratories in Japan and Germany enable us to conduct extensive tests for any material mix. 
That way, we can offer you the best possible machine configuration for your specific field of application. Visit us online or contact us directly to discover the power of mechanical waste recycling.